Hey guys, how's it going? You get to see me in all my half disheveled glory today. Ugh. Update. I am home from university now. Uh, I'm on vacation. I've got like five weeks here, which is amazing. I decided since I got home that I uh, might as well show you a book tour, bookshelf tour. Um, my arms get really tired really fast, and I'm already like half sweaty, if you can see the sheen on my face. Yeah, so it's going to be a little choppy. And I'm going to try and keep it concise, just to make it easier for me to edit. Um, if you want more info on my bookshelf, then, you know, comment, let me know. Um, hope you enjoy me talking about books. Super artsy pan of my... Not exactly too extensive bookshelf. Oh, up there is where I keep my awards. Those two over there are like 2011-2010 library awards that I got for reading more than 15 or 20 books. I don't remember, but I read plenty of those two summers. Uh, the tall ones are my music awards. Those ribbons are art awards, graduation cords. University graduation year coin. We get it at the beginning and not when we graduate. So what if I graduate in five years and I'm not part of the 2018 graduation class? Hmm, dilemma. Okay. Top shelf. Let me step back. Top shelf is where I keep all my sketchbooks and music books and unused sketchbooks and used sketchbooks. That one over there, I made with my own two hands, as you can tell by the fact that it needs to be kept together by a frickin' zebra-striped shoelace. Look at that terrible binding. Ugh. Look at it. This dumb camera doesn't focus when it's recording. Anyways, this piece was created by my own very, my very own thumbprint, and I'm very proud of it. Um, that book over there. This empty sketchbook that I have never used is for perfect attendance. Yes, my friends, I am that student. Although I did steal that yellow one because no one was using it and it's empty. And I hoard things. This second shelf is my middle school slash dystopia reading book list thing. If any of you remember the Click series, that's all of these books right here, plus that one. Uh, these four are, um, what's her name? Lizzie Harrison's other series based off of one of the characters, one of the randomly mentioned characters in the other books, and yeah, I was pretty into that kind of stuff. I don't even, yeah, Poppy was a major, a major brand from which I bought books. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, we have some Pretty Little Liars novels. Uh, Fallen, the, uh, yeah, then kind of after Fallen it transitions into my Dystopia. Yes, I think I'd count that as a Dystopia, but I'm, um, yes, that that's my December TBR, that. Lots of John Greens. This this shelf also has my romance novels, Ally Carter and Caroline Keene, my lady de lady detective series, and also Agatha Christie. I still have to read that book. It's old and musty. This happens to be my favorite shelf of all time. It's got all of the Lord of the Rings books. Yes, I buy them. I hoard them. Actually, the only book I've read out of all of these is The Hobbit. And yes, I am very embarrassed by the fact, but I will read them, I promise. I will. I'm going to do it. Harry Potter books. All the Harry Potter books. Yeah, gotta still read The Casual Vacancy, and then here's all my George R. R. Martin books, and Jane Austen. I usher at my university, so I got to watch Jersey Boys for free. That is probably one of the best things ever is getting to watch Jersey Boys for frickin' free. I have Voldemort's wand and Hermione's and this one I made with newspaper tape and a little bit of clay and paint. Next 
shelf is all my fantasy series that aren't classics. Or George R. R. Martin, I don't consider classic, but it's a giant series, so it makes that shelf, I guess. This little thingamajig here is a bunch of buttons that I got last year from the senior showcase at my university. We were only supposed to take one, but, you know, I hoard things, so I got, like, 12. Six of Crows on my December TBR. My faves. All my faves. All my faves. All my faves. And that, my friends, could you tell? Could you tell it wasn't a real book? Could you tell? I made this. I made this thing. I made this, this thing as my final 3D art project. It's a handmade, old-looking book box. Look at that. It's got a, it's got a false bottom and everything. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I'm so proud. The binding's coming off. I used hot glue. This is actually a, a re furbished jewelry box that I was planning on making. Like, I'd cut out the cardboard and everything, and then turns out I did not accommodate for the width of the cardboard, and so everything went to shit, and I made a secret book box that hides out here with my magic book. This is my stress apple that has broken, and as you can probably guess, indicates the level of stress I had over my school year. This shelf is classics, school readings, nonfiction, and theology hidden behind the lovely be Beatles. This was given to me as an end of the year graduation present by one of my friends. I don't actually subscribe to any magazines and I really love the Beatles, so this, what is it, 50 year? 50 years. 50 year anniversary of Beatles in the US, so she gave it to me and I love it and I will never cut it up because it's beautiful. So over here are my design books, um, because I'm a designer. Yes, I own the Bible. I've only gotten through Genesis. This is a comic book about the gods and goddesses of India. And I think it's mostly, it's, it's got a lot of things. It's got a lot of things. I think there's the Mahabharat somewhere in here. Probably not. Here's the list. I had to refocus. I have to, like, stop recording, refocus, and then start recording again. Yeah, this is a list of tales that is in this comic that I yet have to read. It's a giant book. And it makes it onto this shelf. This book, this book, I got from a lady who was sitting outside Kroger, and I haven't read it yet. And I feel really bad for not reading it. And it looks like a beautiful book with... Does it have illustrations? Yes, it does have a couple. Nope. Only like two or three. Here's where I was mildly obsessed with Celtic, Scottish, Gaelic mythology. There's a book on pirates. Ireland's Pirate Queen. All got on sale from Barnes and Nobles. So yeah, so here's my color organized, color coded book of nonfix, classics, and Anne Frank made it, and the book about Jawaharlal Nehru. Oh, oh, out of shot. I felt when I looked at these books side by side, this one and the Anne Frank book. I don't know, but Indira Gandhi and Anne Frank, at least in these pictures, look really similar. But this is a fantastic book. It's a really, really good book. Um, lovely, some, some, some really beautiful illustrations and stuff. Got some really beautiful text and illustrations, and it's, it's a lovely book, honestly. It's about, oh, right here. It's about letters from... A father to his daughter. So Jawaharlal Nehru wrote letters to his daughter Indira. For those of you who don't know, no, Indira Gandhi is not related to Mahatma Gandhi, although the last names are similar. And yeah, so this is my little bobble-headed puppy. 
the other day when my cousin came, the head came off and he started to cry because we beheaded a puppy. It was really cute and sad at the same time. And this bottom shelf isn't really anything special. It's just got like all of my... It's just got like a bunch of my art books. Back when I was like really obsessed with beading and jewelry. I art, oil painting, whatnot. Children's World Atlas, my yearbooks, and a bunch of textbooks. Okay, starting with Chinese. U.S. History, Government. These are my notebooks. Yes, I keep that. More U.S. History. This book, these books, and a couple up here that you can't see, unfortunately, are my dad's textbooks when he was in university, which is like late 80s or something, mid to late 80s. Yeah, he keeps them, and I have them. What does that even say about me? I don't even know. And here's a bunch of letters that I got from my friends that I also hoard. Yeah, this is my answer. Ooh, ooh. These books. These books were my favorite. I don't know, I think Pogo is, a, is still a channel in India, but Rob, this chap, had a TV show called Mad music, art, and dance, and he released a bunch of these books with art and craft stuff in them. It's six books. I happen to have five. I don't have book two. And then I think there's like an oil painting and a watercolor book in there too. This was like all the rage back in seventh, sixth, seventh grade. Yeah. So yeah, that was my bookshelf and all its muddled hoarded, nonsensical glory. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want a more detailed tour of exactly why I have all the things that I have over there. Like, share, comment down below, and I'll see you when I see you.